Welcome to Frontline. In this video, I will be showing you our newest update to our performance tracker platform. We have now added self-assessments as an option for your employees. So the first thing you're going to want to do is turn that on. So underneath your manage account, my account, it's going to be one of your on off features. So if you're going to be utilizing the self-assessments, make sure they're turned on here. Your next step is going to be going underneath your performance evaluation section to your forms. And then if you hit edit on your form, you'll now have that on off feature for that form. So whatever evaluation forms you want to show in that drop down list for self assessments, make sure they are turned on at the form level. Once you have done that, the evaluator is then going to be able to go into the performance evaluation section. They're going to create that evaluation. They're going to mark it as a self assessment. You'll then come in and plug in the date of the evaluation, the evaluation time period, the due date of that evaluation. You're going to select the employee that you want to complete the self-assessment. You're going to choose that evaluation form. So this is where it'll only show the ones that you marked as a self-assessment form in the back end. So you'll choose that form. The evaluator is going to show for that employee that you selected. And then you're going to hit save and continue. Once you do that, the employee is then going to get an email notification letting them know they've been assigned that self-assessment. So now we're going to log in as that employee who received that email. Once they log in, they will notice the self-assessment evaluation tab at the top, letting them know they have one that they need to complete. So they're then going to be able to click on that. This will show all evaluations they need to work on so they can see that it's a self-assessment one. They are then going to view it. If you have form instructions set up, this will let them know how to complete this evaluation. Then they're going to be able to go through and score themselves on how they think they are doing. They can make comments to each category. They can make comments for each question if you have that turned on in the back end. And then they can also do an overall comment as well. They are going to be able to attach any documents that they may want to. And then they're going to sign off as the employee that did the self-assessment on themselves. They can make any final comments if they want to. And then they're going to be able to send it up the chain of command to a supervisor. So they would just select that supervisor in. It can be one. It can be more than one as well. And then they're going to go ahead and submit for approval. Again, you can make any final comments right before you send it. Otherwise, you'll just hit no comment. That supervisor is now going to get an email notification letting them know they need to review that self-assessment. So once they log in as that supervisor and they go underneath that performance evaluation, they are then going to go to pending my approval. They're going to see that they have an evaluation that they need to review and sign off on. You'll notice that we added the self-assessment section as well. This will let you know whether or not it was a self-assessment that was sent to you or not. So then you can view it, be able to see all the comments they made. And then at the bottom, you can make any additional comments if you want to add to it. Otherwise, you're going to be able to sign off on it, make any final comments, otherwise hit no comment. And this just became a completed self-assessment for that employee, where now you will be able to see that underneath the employee roster for that employee and you'll be able to see that it was a self-assessment. This is how you create and perform a self-assessment for your employees. Thank you for watching this video.